Hi, I'm Charlie here at Durrell Juvenile in Columbus, Indiana, where they make car seats and booster seats like this one here from Costco. And it all starts with these pellets here. All right, Gabe, here behind me we got step one. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Sure, this is the molding process. We use this plastic to mold that car seat shell that we're gonna finish into a finished product on down the assembly line. And here comes a brand new one with all the stickers on. And now what's gonna happen after this? So now it's gonna go into the assembly process. The first step, we're gonna put some anti-skid runners on the bottom to make sure it doesn't slide out of position when it's installed in the car. Is that what she's doing now, putting those on? Yep, so she's got two little plugs, and this machine is gonna push those plugs into place. Next, we're gonna put on our latch. This is a way to uh, install the car seat into the car. They'll, they can use this belt to hook on to little latches in their car okay. to hold the car seat in. Now we've gotta put on the uh, adjustment mechanism. It adjusts the lengths of the belt. So it's gonna hold the kid in. So this is what straps the kid down. This is gonna hold it into the seat. So mom and dad can use this to pull it tight. And then we have some padding here, some cool colors and designs. Absolutely. And then she's gonna put in our buckle because you sure don't want a car seat without a seat buckle. Exactly. Then where's the next step? So now we're putting in a seat belt. So this belt. is the actual strap that's gonna hold the child in. It gets laced through the buckle. This is what we would call an internal harness. Internal harness. So that means we're holding the kid with a harness into the car seat. Inside the car seat, okay. Right. So we have a completely finished car seat right here. So what we're doing here is we're actually inspecting everything that we've done to this car seat. Okay. So they're making sure we put everything in the right place and everything does what it's expected to do. So now we know that this car seat is good and ready to go to any consumer. It's completely assembled properly. And do you inspect every single car seat? Every single car seat. Just to make sure they're all very safe. Yes. So now it looks like they're packaging up and putting them in boxes and getting ready to ship out, right? You got it. Now we just saw all the manufacturing of the car seats, but here in the tech center is where they actually look at computers and design the actual car seat itself. But what they don't tell you is that they test here as well. So if you follow me, we'll go check that out. Hi, Terry. Hey, Charlie. We're here in the testing facility now, and how about we go ahead and take a look at some of these sleds? These are really crash simulators. We make car seats, and we test them, but we don't test them in actual vehicles. And this one, it looks like we're going to get hit from the side on this one? Yes, this is a side impact test that we're gonna see here, and it's, it's like you're sitting in the vehicle next to the door, and that's where the other car hits you. Oh, so a car, right. that's where it actually hits you? Right, and okay. it shoves your door into where you're sitting. And I see all these wires and cables and video series, is that all for gathering data? Absolutely, you'll see onboard cameras, high-speed cameras, you'll see cords going to the test dummy because we're, we're getting the forces that are on the dummy. It all sounds good when we're talking about it, but can we go ahead and hit the green button? I want to see some action. Oh, yeah. Let's go do it, Terry. Oh, that was just done like that. It just goes so fast. And do you test just the impact on the child? Do you test how the car seat holds up, if it's durable? Absolutely, that's part of the requirement is that the car seat needs to remain structurally intact. We appreciate the testing, Terry. Thanks for showing us around the place. And use your car seats. Buckle up. <laughs>